Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a teleport pad in Roblox Studio. So before we start, make sure you have Explore and Properties open. They are under the View tab, so just click, uh, like, just click View, and then Explore and Properties. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Model and click Part. So this will insert a part into Roblox Studio. You can use the Scale tool to make it however big you want. So let's just say I want mine this big. So after that, go into the workspace and click on the part. And then just rename this part to hit part or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So after that, go into the properties of it. And then just make it anchored. So this is the part where the player will hit. And then they will get teleported. So the next thing we need to do is create the position where you want to where you want the player to be teleported. For example, if I want it at the edge of the map right here, then I would put a part over here. And just make sure that the part is like a few tiles up. So like somewhere like that, so the player doesn't get stuck into the ground. So after we got that, we can go all the way back into the hit part, click the plus, and enter in a script. Now delete hello world, and you can now write what I write. So local can hit equals to true. And then go down two lines and then script.parent.touch colon con connect function and then put brackets delete one and write hit go down line and then write if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child quotation marks and then write humanoid with a capital H outside of the bracket write then go down the line and then write can hit equals to false after that go down the line and then write local human equals to hit dot parent colon find first child quotation marks humanoid with a capital H root with a capital R and part with the capital P. After that, go down the line and write local player equals to game dot players colon get player from character and then inside of the brackets write hit dot parent after that go down the line and then put a quick little weight over there and then go down the line and then write human dot c frame make sure that the c and the f is capitalized equals to c frame like again make sure that the c frame is capitalized dot new and then bracket should appear inside the brackets write vector 3 dot new and then more bracket should appear so after that go back to the other part that you placed earlier or in my case in the corner click the part and then go into the properties of it scroll down until you find positions copy positions go back here and then paste it inside of the brackets right after new and after that, you can go down line and write can hit equals to true. And then the last thing we need to do is after the then, write if can hit equals equals to true then. Copy everything from the second last end and then paste it in there and then delete all of that. So the final script should look like something like this. You can pause to double check that your script is correct. Remember that this is just a position and you can change it to whatever you want. So the last thing you need to do is go here and then press Ctrl X so it's deleted. So now we can go test it out. Okay, so I just loaded into the game. So this is our teleport pad. And if I was to touch it, boom, I will be teleported all the way over here. And then I'm just going to quickly go into the server client and then drag myself all the way back. Just like this. And then I'll, I'll play it in slow motion so you guys can see that it works. And as you can see, I got teleported all the way here. So yeah, that will be it for this tutorial. If it helped, make sure to like, comment, maybe even share the video for someone who really needs a working teleport pad. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!